This is Grammar Basics and I'm Lisa McClendon. Today we're going to talk about subjects and objects. Subjects are basically whatever is doing or being the verb. Like if you want to say the Nebraska capital is a tower. The cat wants a belly rub. Blueberry muffins are good. Georgia O'Keeffe painted the Southwest. They're all doing or being something that has to do with a verb. The predicate is just the verb and whatever comes after it. So it can be an object, it can be a nominative adjective or noun, it's just the verb and then anything else. So if you have David, here is your subject, reads is your verb, you can have a predicate like David reads every day or David reads thick books, or David reads in his room. So you can have a lot of different things that make up the predicate. With a linking verb, these are verbs that connect the subject somehow to the predicate. They go on to further describe the subject. Like the chain is strong. Strong goes back with the chain. Bill is a hard worker. Hard worker is the same as Bill. It's going back to Bill, giving a little bit more information about him. That's what a linking verb does. Direct objects, on the other hand, get the verb done to them. So it's not going to be the same as a subject. So if we have Jordan writes, there's your verb, what is he writing? He's writing a paper. We have Marie. She's the subject. What did she do? She baked. She baked what? She baked bread. There's your direct object there. There are other kinds of objects. The indirect object is a person usually who gets shown, told, or given something. Those are um, the kinds of things like um, they gave me a book, that sort of thing. The object of the preposition is just the noun that goes with a preposition that gets tied into the rest of the sentence by that preposition. So to the store, at my house, those kinds of things. Pronouns are important here because when you have a pronoun in an object position, and that's a direct object, an indirect object, or the object of a preposition, it has to be in the object pronoun form. Some of these are the same, like you, like it, and some of them are different, me, him and her, us, them, whom. So make sure that you're using an object pronoun when you have an object. So let's take a look at a couple of examples here on this. If you have Maggie told Aiden and is it I or is it me? Okay. Well, she told me the news about the fire. Okay. The boss assigned Sarah and we want I or do we want me? The boss assigned me to the marketing team. Uh, Gavin and I or me? Well, me are working. No, I are working. Actually, I am working, but you get the point there. That is a subject pronoun, so you want the subject. I mean, it's a subject, so you want the subject pronoun. Um, just between you and I or me? This is kind of tricky because you can't just say just between me. That doesn't make any sense. But you can say just between us. And you know the us is the object pronoun, so we need the object pronoun here. Just to review, the subject is who or what does the verb. The predicate is the verb, anything after it. A linking verb connects that subject with something in the predicate, giving you more information about the subject. The direct object has the action done to it. Indirect objects and objects of the preposition are different kinds of objects that you will encounter. They all need object pronouns, okay? If you've got a pronoun in an object position, it needs to be the object form of that pronoun. 